not long ago I found this amazing uh, blog post uh, by the guys from Buffer about image sizes. Uh, if you're posting on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you already know that it is uh, a, a complication because it's, it's not so easy because uh, each one of the platforms uses a different standard for images. So if you would like to have your images branded and in the perfect size for each platform, well, it is a bit of a mess. So this article uh, solves the problem. They divided the, uh, let's say, the sizes for images in the ideal image sizes, that are a general uh, uh, suggestion, and the best sizes for every single platform. So I advise you to, to give a check on this uh, uh, article, blog post. Now, I transformed the suggestions from this uh, uh, blog post into Photoshop templates with intention of saving a lot of time. And I made those templates available to you. So you can uh, go to this other website and you can buy the, uh, the whole set of uh, Photoshop templates uh, for this small price. I can warranty you are going to save a lot of time. So the intention of this video is to show you how to use the templates. In this case we are going to uh, open uh, a Facebook landscape template. So that means if you want to post an image in Facebook and brand it, uh, you should use this template. So I just double click Oops. Photoshop opens and it opens also uh, the template as it is. Okay, so let's check on the right side you see the layers. I organize the layers in a way that will uh, uh, help you uh, uh, organize your text, your logos, your images, even patterns. Okay, so you see inside of the background you have a pattern, you have a photo, and a transparent uh, layer. I always let this transparent layer, I don't know why. It doesn't affect anything. Uh, the photo, here is where you want to put the, the image you want to share. The pattern, I find patterns to be very useful. Uh, look at the image right now. I'm going to disable the pattern so you see the difference. Now it's a shiny photo, right? If I click again, you will see that there's a pattern. It's some kind of a pixelated uh, pattern. So it, it gives some kind of a special touch to your, uh, to your image. Okay, you can, if you hide the backgrounds, this is what happens. Then I have a layer for shadows. I like shadowing the borders of the image. So if I disable this, it looks like that much more bright. Now you know that by selecting the, the layer you can change uh, the, the fill or the opacity. Right? So, okay. Then I have another layer for the logo. In this case I use the logo of Facebook and a couple of layers for texts. Now what you want to do is to replace the image obviously. So what I normally do is I go to Flickr and search for uh, Creative Commons images. That means images that are going to uh, uh, give you permission to use for non-commercial purposes and with attribution to uh, uh, the author or the photographer. In this case it's Clement 127. Look at the amazing images that, or photographs that he takes. I love Lego, as you can see. So I already downloaded some of his images, right? You can see them here on the right side. And we're going to, show, uh, we're going to uh, open one of them. I like this one. Uh, to replace the image we have in the template so far. So you right click and you decide to open it with Photoshop. So Photoshop opens it with Control or Command A. You select it. You copy it and you're going to paste it on top 
of the photo layer. So first select it, paste it, and you have it there. Now this is weird, right? Well, actually it's not so weird. Is that the, the photo is much bigger than uh, in size than the space we have for the template. So Command T or Control T to modify the size and just resize the image. I don't know if this is the best size, the, the best way of resizing it. If you know a better way, please let me know. So far, this works for me. Okay, so we're coming up to the right size. Let's see. This looks pretty good to me. That's my image so far. So I can hide the previous photo or I can delete it by dragging it here. Now, the amazing thing for me is that on these templates, you can store all the photos you used, that you use. So you have some kind of a sequence of images, right? So you can always use them back. Uh, uh, for example, maybe for another post, for the same uh, company, you want to use this other image, right? So we make exactly the same thing. Okay, we can let it like that without resizing. So the cool stuff is that in the future you can come up and uh, restore uh, uh, the, the previous post you did. In this case, we're just going to hide it. This is our, our image. So what are we going to do now? Now we want to replace the logo. So the Facebook logo, I don't want it anymore. And in this case, I'm going to open the Illustrator file for the logo of my company. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to change this color for white. Okay, now I copy it and I'm going to paste it here. So you see Photoshop requests me if I want to have it as pixels or a smart object. I always choose smart object because that means I can resize it without losing quality. That's it. So for example, that I want it to be this size. Cool. So now I can hide the Facebook logo, keep mine, and I don't want to have a main text. So I'm going just to hide this one. And I want to keep uh, this info uh, 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 text line and customize it to mine, so I, uh, uh, the real information. So I click here in the text tool, uh, and I will put fear and fail.com and the Twitter handler for this business. And it is fear and fail. So now I would like to move it a bit more to the right. Save the document. So that means I saved the PSD file uh, and export it. Now, remember, we have the shadows. You can test it uh, with or without them. You can add uh, different patterns. test it with or without. I like it like that. Now I see that my logo is not so well positioned. Maybe here is better. And that's it. So now the reason why I didn't want to include the big text is that if I want to advertise this in Facebook, Facebook has a policy of a percentage of text that you can have on every image. 
So I, I prefer to write a te text description with the image, right? So we're going to make it, we're going to export it right now. Um, quick export to PNG. We're going to call it Facebook fear and fail. Uh, Joker. I'm going to post it in my desktop and save. Cool. I have it ready. It is here. I'll double click. We have it. So let's see how it looks in Facebook, okay? Ah, I'm not connected to internet. Just give me a second. I disconnected the internet so I'll not get annoying notifications. Okay. So. We go to the fear and fail. Facebook page. Come on, internet. Cool. And now I can drag the photo here. And write my text. Don't be afraid of showing weird within publish so as you can see the quality of the image looks perfect exactly as uh, designed and that's the amazing thing of using the templates Super, so that's it. Like that you have templates for everything else. Uh, Facebook Square, Google+, Google+, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And you are going to see exactly the same thing for the ideal sizes, right? Uh, and if you need something, uh, be sure to write me a message or a comment. Uh, I'm going to add a description and the important links uh, uh, below this video. So thank you for watching and I hope uh, you are going to save a lot of time with it.